McDermott joins us now. He is currently a state representative, and he's running for U.S. Senate as a Republican candidate against Democratic incumbent Brian Schatz. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for good joining morning. us. Thanks for having let, me, guys. Let, let's start with what's happening here at home. And you were one of the first to really shine a light with what's happening at Red Hill and, and to apply some pressure to the U.S. Navy. With what we know now, with, with the plan and the timeline, knowing it's, it's not going to be defueled till 2024, how satisfied are, are you with what's going on? Well, thanks. And Having me. It was almost a year ago uh, that we came here and said, shut down Red Hill. Yeah. And uh, that's been the whole thing why I ran, to, to make a point that we can't forget about this. The pressure we have for the federal government is our senators and congressmen, right? God bless our House members, but that's two out of 435, so you're not going to have much of an impact. It's got to be done in the U.S. Senate. And uh, when I came here a year ago, it, that, that was the tipping point. Because I'm an old Marine, I ran the Navy League. Everybody knows I've got kids in the military. I support the military, love the military. So when I said, hey, we need to shut it down, and then you saw the bandwagon get full. So full, they threw me off. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, but my objective was to keep the pressure on. And I've tried. I didn't raise any money because I know what the, uh, the odds are. I mean, despite what people say, I'm not crazy. But I wanted to make a point, uh, and of course the other issues. We have a wide disagreement on energy policy, on uh, Ukraine, the war in uh, Afghanistan pullout, inflation. Uh, the biggest cost we have is energy. I just paid my electric bill last night. Holy smokes, I had to refinance my house. I mean, it's so expensive. So we have to return to the energy policies of two short years ago. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit more about Red Hill because, you know, Senator Schatz has been on here multiple times talking about how he's managed to help get money to help clean it up. And he, he says that he has been putting pressure on the military to make sure this is getting done. I guess from our perspective, the question for me would be, what would you have done different if you had been in office? What would you do different if you were elected into this sure. office for Senate? So uh, I'm not very subtle, as you <laughs> kind of know. So I would have attacked that problem. I I. Five years, look, I don't know all the details of the plan. I haven't seen it. I don't have access to that. But it seems to me 2027 is when they're going to shut it down, right? Five years out. That's just far too long. And two years from now, after they spend $100 million, because they're going to spend $100 million to improve it. Now, are you going to shut it down after that? They're right now paying to repair a, a pump that pumps the oil uphill. They don't need it. So why are they doing that? So, uh, listen, if I was your United States Senator, the community would demand that I get it done and back up my words, and I would. If I couldn't get it closed in this term, I wouldn't run for re-election. I couldn't. So you got that on tape now. So if you're, you're deciding to right, vote. Right. Right. And, you, and you've been very vocal about yeah, it, and obviously yeah. very passionate as well. But, but you mentioned some of those other issues. And, my, and, 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 Steve, my granddaughter was exposed to this water. She goes to the preschool on one of the preschools on base, right. my son's in the Navy, she drank some of this water. So for me, this, and the levels of pollutants in this was like 500 times the acceptable level, the stuff that was, was in the base housing, and that's where the preschool got their water. Right. So it was a real personal for me. Right. People, I, I, I guess, didn't know that. I right. don't know. No, and, and we understand, and, and sure. thank you for sharing, but at the same time, we do have okay, to get I'm to sorry. some of the other issues, yes. right? And inflation being the biggest one for yes. voters across the country. So if you were to get elected, how, what, what is the first thing? How do you combat that? Real easy. It's all driven by the cost of energy. Everything. Fertilizer. The plastic you make your cell phone out of. Everything. These cameras. Everything is made out of petroleum products. I believe the climate changes, but I don't believe man is primarily responsible. Eva Beach, where I live, used to be underwater. I got the geology reports to prove it. So the climate changes, how much is man's influence? So that's a big disagreement. But if you want $2 gas, I'm saying return to those policies of just two short years ago. But you're looking at oil companies that have historic pro uh, record profits right now. They have they're historic not, revenue, too. Well, they're not, trying, they're not trying to lower prices or increase the supply, which is the way that you lower energy prices. Right. So are you going to spend, your CEO, are you going to spend literally billions of dollars to invest, to drill, when you have a president who says, I want to put the fossil fuel industry out of business. I want to, his words were, I want to kill the fossil fuel industry. He said that. I did. 
first day in office, you cut Keystone, you cut uh, Anwar, you cut back all the leases. Now he says you can get leases. Yeah, only on 20%, but then you can't uh, get a permit to refine it. There's no refineries. He, listen, in fairness, Joe Biden's not a, what you'd call an oil man. He, he doesn't want fossil fuel. He's told us that. Schatz has told us that. So what's your alternative? I have 48 solar panels on my roof. Where it makes sense, I do it. Mm -hmm. With eight kids, you gotta have 48 panels. <laughs> but, but, but we don't have the technology yet. We're not there. So just to clarify, you believe that the fuel emissions, the emissions from fossil fuels is not fueling current climate change that we're seeing on this planet? I, uh, let me rephrase it. I believe man's impact is grossly overstated. A coup is in charge. Well, we look at what happened with uh, Paul Pelosi, and, and right. obviously it didn't affect you because you're not up there right away, but, but it does speak to the greater um, disagreements that we have, and that's right. putting it mildly between Republicans and Democrats in the entire country. Uh, how concerning is that? If, if you get elected, how do you, I guess, alleviate some of that? Well, you know who the great example was, was Dan and Owe. I mean, he's the model, right? So you have a Republican saying that Dan and Owe's the model. He, he was all about getting resources for Hawaii and fixing it. I will tell you what he would have done at Red Hill. He would have been perceptive and he would have been forehanded and said, you know what, we need to move this. It's going to be a four to ten billion dollar shot in our economy if we take it to, say, lower Pearl Harbor. Because they got to rebuild all this and they got to close this down. And all he would do is pick up the phone to Bob Dole and say, Bob, I need your help. Okay, Danny, whatever you need. That spirit you're talking about is what we're missing, and that's what we need. We don't do that here at the State House. We don't call each other's names, no Pilikia like that. You can't. It's, first of all, it's against the rules, but you see them at Sam's Club or Costco. You can't be a jerk to your... They're your friends. You work with them, right? And I think that the same thing should go to the... I would take that to the federal government. So Inouye is my model. You're running as a Republican candidate. Yes. Um, Former President Trump just last night basically hinted stronger than ever that he's going to be running in 2024. Would you support his bid as a fellow Republican? His policies were fantastic. Which his, ones? All of them. Uh, lowest minority unemployment in history. Gas prices. We were energy dominant. We were not importing uh, oil two years ago. Now we are. We're asking Venezuela, Iran. Other countries are not friendly to us to give us oil. When we have, we sit on an ocean of oil. We have more oil reserves in the United States than any country in the world. The Bakken Reserve. The problem is we can't get permits to go extract it. So, and Trump will, will change that. Now, he's like the plumber you invite to your house to fix the, uh, the leak you have. You don't want him hanging around for the party afterwards. You got the plumber's uh, butt cleavage here and everything else. <laughs> you, 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 don't want him, you don't want him hanging around, but hey, I need the, the toilet fix. We do. Yeah, I can do it. take it. Okay, yeah, his tweets and the way he talks to people he certainly can be improved, and I don't want to judge anything. Uh, but I'll tell you what the good news is. The good news is Schatz and I haven't been negative to each other, yeah. and that's probably because I have no money. Maybe, <laughs> but the, the point is we haven't, yeah. right? So. It is good. I wish we would have had more opportunity, and I'm not blaming anyone, just to discuss the issues. Because everybody thinks they're going to lose by 40 points. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh -huh. I, I, I think we're going to exceed expectations. Yeah, and we'll see what happens Tuesday night. Yeah. Bob McDermott running for U.S. Senate against Brian Schatz, who came in thank yesterday you. as well. So thank Thanks. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. It's always thank good you. to see you. Look yeah. great today. Oh, thank right. you. Nice dress. <laughs> All right, thank you. Am I allowed to say that? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I appreciate it. Un uncomfortable. I think you feel bad. It makes you feel bad. That's what the problem is. All right. All right, let's take it with Guy. All right, thunderstorm still fire.